Wait, what? Each of these cr each of these creators earns on average twenty million dollars a year on the backs of unpaid writers and content creators who do not even get asked whether they want to be unpaid interns in these enterprises of exploitation. Wait, <laughs> wait, twenty million dollars, dude? <laughs> Yo, boys! Oh my lord, dude! Yo, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're. That's true. Yo, house one, house two is coming, boys. He means 20 million in Australia. It's like 300,000 dollar days in the USD. Yeah. Bro, I know this guy is going crazy. I know. Dark Viper AU suggests that streamers who make React content such as Moist Critical Pokemon X, you see in Asan the Hunt with assault their fans if given the chance and doubles down on it. If you meet a reactor at a party, I suggest covering your glass or outright tell them you don't want them to f you because they seem keen to take a person's silence for consent. People who live their lives exploiting others, their labor or careers, in their own lust for money and power, who are very, who are the very sort of people who someone. A reactor's career is specifically about ignoring consent and only respecting people when profits are risk. Bro, let me just say something, okay? Out of all of those people that he's like crying about, he, this person, this psychopath, is the only one who has literally uh, out and about like destroyed, try to DMCA a fan of his for beating him to the Grand Theft Auto uh, uh, speed run that he was doing. The only reason why I know who this weirdo is is because LSF ass blasted him for LSF ass blasted him for shitting on his own fan that beat him in the Grand Theft Auto uh, Five speed run. <sighs> so for him to turn around and like take this kind of position is is. I guess not surprising. He's just like a big DMCA Andy. Like he tried to, he literally DMCA'd his fan. So the weirdest part about it is the, this though. I mean, this is the weirdest part. Twitter for iPad. He has done media share streams before. Oh my God. Are you serious? Yeah. It's just like, just an absolute psycho dude. Trying to farm clout by being as stupid as possible. Okay. I think that's why I said it's ableism for me to cover this. Okay. It's ableism for me to cover this because like, I'm literally dunking on someone who is like either a going through like a, a, a major meltdown or B just simply has a bad brain. Okay. Just doesn't work. It is hyperbole, but only slightly so. The difference between actively ignoring consent for financial gain is not so far removed from ignoring consent for sexual gratification. It is abuse of another selfish purpose. Yeah, I mean, he's just like, this is a bad person. I don't know what else to say other than, like, he's just a bad person. Oh, he's Austrian? I always thought he was, like, Australian because he has AU in his name. And I always thought that that was weird. Like, I always, because Australians are chill as f usually. Oh, he is Australian. Oh no, he is Australian. Let's go 15 fucking months chat. Let's oh, go. oh no. Oh no. Oh, that sucks, guys. I mean, Aussies are usually very chill. So I, I don't know. I always like, I saw the AU and I thought he was Australian and I, I was surprised. Yeah, he posts like, he posts like he would not be Australian. You, I thought my country was at risk. A lot of his takes are actually good, though. No, he, that is so stupid. You're a stupid person if you actually say that. I'm sorry. 15-month subscriber. Bro, this dude is insane. Okay. He covers Australian politics, and he's kind of leftish. Oh. Oh. Even LSF hates this guy? Yeah. He, every time, every time there's a controversy, this dude is literally non-stop. He said React streamers are like slave drivers. What? The funniest part about this is that like a lot of people on LSF hate, uh, you know, their least favorite streamer doing reacts, but every streamer does reacts and every YouTuber does reacts too, to some point, to some degree. I'm not going to read his Google doc, but all I'm going to say is this. So <laughs> even the LSF guys who hate the react streamers that they don't like doing reacts, don't like this guy. What's his vaccine take? We exported a lot of brain rot, Aussie. No, no, no. He is a streamer. Yeah. Charlie made a response already. I know they say the Lord forgives all sins, even murder, but thanks to one man, my third eye has truly been opened to a very hard to swallow truth that there's one sin so unforgivable that it sends the person straight to hell. Well. It's React content. There is no forgiveness for React streamers. Those vile vermin that watch YouTube videos on Twitch, they're all bad people, downright evil with no exception. I remember in Star Wars they said only a Sith deals in absolutes. Well, not this time. Yesterday, a YouTuber and streamer named Dark Viper. Those that dislike him so much enough to defend you in the comments, that's crazy. You posted a 14 page document, which is the script for a video he's working on. 
all about how evil React content is, and it really heats up. This gets wild and wacky for the touchdown real quick. There's a whole section in here where he basically yeah. compares reactors to criminals and insinuates that they'd be likely to spike your drink at a party, take silence for consent, basically is comparing... Yo, he wrote a 14-page Google document. Okay, he is a leftist. There is no, no one on the planet is doing that unless they're a leftist. Either you're a leftist or you wrote a manifesto and you're about to do a shooting, okay? Those are the only two types of people. The average leftist always writes thesis, like always writes an entire thesis. And then when a right winger writes that many pages, run, okay? React content creators to completely unironically. It's not some edgy joke or anything. It's posting cringe on main that he truly believes and defends in the comments when someone called him out for it. He really doubles down, puts his nuts on the table and says, yeah, reactors are likely to commit. He says it's hyperbole, but only slightly so. The difference between actively ignoring consent for financial gain is not so far removed from ignoring consent for sexual gratification. In his own document, he admits that he himself was a reactor. He is engaged in a lot of React content himself. So at one point, were you a Dark Viper? Were you likely to commit In fact, I'd argue you were on the upper echelon of React content because you were doing media share nights where you're commu- Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they're beating your ass in the QRTs, dog. What the f media share? Oh no, dude, that's the lowest form. He donated money for you to watch videos as opposed to just watching videos that you wanted to share with people and reacting to those. You had people pay you to do it. And then you made money on top of that from the videos you'd post from it. So some people have asked about my media share streams and how they came to be. I streamed over 15,000 hours of my career as well as having made 1,500 videos and over 75,000 clips. I passionately hated media share streams at that in entire time to the extent some of my oldest footage has been complaining about how Soda Poppy's media share streams put Twitch in jeopardy of legal challenge. Yeah, and it didn't, and it still doesn't, and people still do it every now and then. And also, I however became resigned that reactors would never be beaten, either join them or be crushed by them. <laughs> Yo, what the f Dude. Bro, bro, dude, get to, I, I don't, I don't think therapy is always going to be good because like there are some therapists that are just like, there are some therapists that just like literally let you be your narcissistic self, you know, let that freak flag fly, but like find a good therapist, bro. Just don't. I was forced into the darkness of reactions. Dude, all of this, I can't. All right. Let me just point to something here. I hate to uh, say xqc is right but he's so right it's just dude these mother don't know how to make good content okay here i'm gonna be painfully honest for a second which is something that you're not supposed to do when you're on the internet especially on twitch because a lot of people like to see that vulnerability and exploit it for future gain uh because they think that they're twisted little freak puppet masters okay but i'm gonna be painfully honest regardless Twitch streamers live and die by their numbers. Anybody that tells you that that's not the case is probably lying to you. I've never met someone who has like the mental fortitude to be able to overcome that. Maybe there's some uh, examples, but for the most part, everyone notices it. Okay. Every Twitch streamer notices it. For example, you know, and there so are, the nine month darkness. there the are, uh, you know, there's, it's months. a big day today. Lost Ark day. Okay. Lost Ark day or whatever. Is it lost Ark? Is that the new game that came out? You know, everyone came in here and was like, dude, Asmongold has 285,000 watchers. Like, when I first started, I had 2,000 people in the chat. And normally, I have 10 before, uh, in the first 10 minutes. Okay? And, uh, it, like, that, that fucking crushed me. Like, I have lower numbers today. I have lower numbers right now, today, on average, than I have had in months. Okay? And while that number is actually really, really high, that number is certainly really, really high, um overall especially in the grand scheme of things it's not high for where i'm at okay and that it bummed me out it bummed me out but i also recognize it you know what i mean there's the peaks and valleys and it's something that we always have to work towards okay but the reason why i'm mentioning all of this the reason why i'm mentioning all of this and the reason why i said xcc is right is Five because a lot of these mother just don't know how to make good content like they don't know how to be captivating they don't know how to be entertaining, even though Twitch streaming itself is not like a meritocracy. Do not misunderstand me. It's a lot about networking. It's a lot about being presentable. Uh, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's a load of luck, okay? Well, the reason why streamers ban, so streamers are the real view count Andes. Yeah, the reason why streamers ban view count Andes is because it's real. It's just like, it's, a, 
it sucks when uh someone is like dude you suck Best be fair though you were averaging 20 25k early last year while now you average 30k yeah i mean it's not enough good luck paying for your second porsche now is on <laughs> good one so so here's the thing um the reason why like everybody was like ripping on the uh the the react meta or whatever when they did was because like everybody wants to be able to play video games and maintain an audience okay but they can't do that they can't just do that they can't just like play video games and maintain an audience so they get mad when the larger audiences are not playing video games just like when they you know it's just the way it is it is the way it is People got mad at me originally for doing politics, but they didn't get that mad at me during doing politics because when I first started doing politics, nobody had an audience doing politics. You know what I mean? It was like tiniest. Okay. That's the reason why people weren't as upset with me doing politics, but it is the way it is. And this person is like broken their brain. What caught you in 4k? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but 19 months. I am not normal anymore. With your content, you go back when she starts getting spicy with politics. I mean, no, I mean, it's just a, it's just a valley. It's not, there's peaks and valleys. That's all this is. It's not the end of the world. So, so this is that, like, this is a person who's just like frustrated that they think it's lazy content. They don't want to personally do it. And they uh, are upset that they can't maintain an audience. That's it. So you were a super reactor. Of course, you don't do that anymore and you deleted all the videos. But at one point, you did engage in the exact same content that you're coming out so heavily against right now and then tried to make your own justifications for for why you weren't the bad guy. It's an outrageous claim, obviously. However, he does make legitimate points in the document. It's overshadowed by this unhinged rant that he goes on. I am familiar with Dark Viper. Bro, I know, I know, bro. You have 27K viewers. You're chilling. Some song streamers I watch would dream of having 2K viewers. I was a smaller streamer that dreamed of having 2k viewers what are you talking about i know i know but i'm not comparing myself to that i'm comparing myself to where i can be that's the difference yes of course when you're averaging when you are averaging uh, uh 30k 30 plus k 35k yes when you see a dip it hurts your feelings okay First content. In fact, I was a fan of Dark Viper. I'd seen his runs. I didn't really see too many of like his rant videos, but I did see his content from time to time, and he always struck me as someone pretty level-headed. He spends hours editing his videos and gets mad when he sees people want to watch other things. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. Isn't Charlie basically a reaction streamer? Of course, dude. Charlie is joking about the. Yes, dude. Of course, Charlie does reactions. He does reactions on his YouTube as well. He does reactions on his. Charlie does reactions on his uh, Twitch stream and he does reactions on YouTube too. He's joking. He's joking. Being sarcastic. In fact, recently, he made a video correcting something I talked about, which was how much money YouTubers make from short content. I got some of it wrong, and not on purpose, but I just didn't know what he knew. He was very knowledgeable in short content and made a whole video going over some very insightful stuff that was a learning experience for me and his audience. I thought it was a great video, very well done. And it was super disappointing to read something like this from him. Now I'm called out by name multiple times throughout this document because obviously I do react content from time to time, 100%. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not trying to bury it in the past and hide it, pretend like I didn't or try and justify it because I'm not embarrassed of it. Look, I understand the stigma around React content, and I've always understood it. When I react to something, I'm constantly trying to either pause it and add something to it or interject comedy into it. I treat React content like mystery science theater. Where Same. Um, maybe I pause a little too much, actually, as a matter of fact. Which is always the funniest thing, because people are like, Dude, we caught you peeing while the video was playing. Or we caught you uh, throwing chicken and, like, flipping the chicken while the video was playing. Like, it is the funniest thing for me is that... I do react to a lot of content and I react to a load of content, but it's so funny that like, uh, I have now become the person that like so many people because of like that one YouTuber who was like, dude, you never watch videos. And like, uh, that YouTuber that like made a compilation of me with a, uh, compilation of me with, uh, like when I'm not here in the chair is like watching that everybody there's like a lot of people that think that there's a lot of people that uh unironically now think like i just never uh, i just never watch it just like play music or i mean play, play play videos and get away leave where it is a transformative piece around the content now of course not every time is going to be a hit which is why you'll find plenty of videos where i'm reacting to something like the downfall of quiddy which comes from a great channel that I really like to watch, and I just got too engrossed in their storytelling and the way they presented it, presented it that I didn't add anything to it. So I ended up just kind of watching it with my community. Sure, and you know what? I didn't turn that into a video. I didn't do anything else with that. 
ended up just really enjoying the video as it was presented without really being able to add too much to it. And yeah, I always feel guilty when something like that happens, but that's never the- Bro, you used to put up a fake camera image and leave? No, um, I did that a couple times here, but usually I just have the chair. That's why we have the chair emote, and that's why everybody says Haas chair, Hermy, greatest streamer. Left is turning the Republicans when you leave the chair, yeah. Cool. Dark Viper's entire document here is about this belief that every reactor is doing it for financial gain and to fuck small channels. And the logic he uses to make these points is deeply flawed and isn't substantiated by any real evidence. It just feels like he pulls it out of his ass and it's source, trust me, bro. Is he has an understanding of capitalism and the free market and that's what he's using to base all of these claims on, even though it's not directly applicable to YouTube itself. So I just wanted to go over everything here right now. So even right away, his initial tweet going for the most- Why did you throw up a cake video of you for a while? Wait, what? Cake video of me? Dude, again, um, the funniest part about all of this, the funniest, funniest part about all of this, haha, a couple times, you used to do it all the time, loops on. Dude, dude, dude. When I throw the loop on, I got it. I got you. I heard you. Okay. Created 2020, 11, 17, following since 2020, 11, 17. I got it. You, you got your point across. You got my attention. Even when I have something playing on stream, unless it's literally just a P, unless it's literally just a P for like two minutes, I'm watching it on my phone. How else do you think? Do you think I have like a precog? Do you think I have a, a cognitive ability of being able to like, I don't know, assume I know what's going on on the stream that we're watching even though I'm not there? It's not a serious combo. Please do not acknowledge it, but like I'm seeing a lot more people. I'm seeing a lot more people drop this shit. I paused so much, casually explained, made that legendary godlike meme about my pausing, okay? Most extreme approach possible. All reactors are bad people, exploit others to benefit no one but themselves, collectively stolen millions of dollars from actual creators and have stopped countless thousands from having a career. I wonder how many small channels are out there shaking their fist right now like, damn you, Pokimane, my channel died because you watched my video on your stream and said nice things about me. I yeah, that's the that's the funniest part about it is that like these dudes that come out with takes like this, hot takes like this, are coming out with hot takes like this so that we like react to their hot takes and they can farm the negative engagement. And the un the the hilarious part of that is that um if, if if they didn't do that and if they just made good content, we would just watch the good content and then they would get more followers and shit. Now he's probably seeing his biggest spike ever, you know. Charlie just made a whole video about it. We're all reacting to it, all this shit. But the unfortunate reality for him is that negative, uh, negative farming like that is not sustainable, okay? It's just not. Not that that person cares about what my perspective is, but trying to farm negative, uh, you know, hate uh, watchers by like shitting on other people, shitting on like uh, successful content creators and whatnot is not sustainable for you. It's just not gonna happen. Jake Paul doesn't just do that, okay? Jake Paul doesn't just do that. Jake Paul does other shit too. Jake Paul also has children that watch him, okay? In defense of React streamers, you are doing the work of curating the content. I kind of like how I don't have to choose what I'm going to watch. Streamer man does that for me. I mean, dude, look, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody, okay? And I mean, I don't hate it too much because like whenever we look at people that shit on me, at least ho I hope the haters will just go there and stay there. But the problem is they don't stay there. They go there for a little bit, okay? They go there for a little bit. They get, like, more riled up there. And then they come back here because I guess it's more fun to, like, just be in here than whatever the fuck that other person is doing. I literally found multiple creators that I like by virtue of your reacts. Yeah, the whole, like, exposure argument would not make sense in any other meaningful capacity except for YouTube because... Because we all are content creators ourselves. We're friends with all, most of the content creators that we watch. We know the content creators that we are watching on stream. We know what their point of view is. Like Andrew, Channel 5, great example, right? He literally will text me when he comes out with a new video. Like he texts me when he comes out with a new video. He's like, dude, have you watched it yet? I can't wait for you to watch it. And that's just how it works. And other content creators are aware of this. Analingus9000, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. And some aren't. Some hate that. Okay? Some hate that. And if you hate that, then I'll never watch it. With the, when the case of the AU guy, Dark Viper guy, it's very easy for me to avoid their content because it's dog shit. A promising career as a YouTuber till you said nice things about my video on stream to your audience of 30,000 concurrent viewers. Now I'm trashed. I'm ruined. 
And to be fair, that's not the exact point he's making. His point of how they're killing small channels is because they're taking eyes away from small channels to their own channel. So I guess a more apt comparison would be a small channel flipping over their table like, fuck, I would have had 10 million views on this video if Pokimane didn't react to Jubilee, six atheists versus one Christian five days ago. Now my channel's because she reacted and all the people wouldn't watch that instead of watching my video essay on dying lights butthole physics. Now to show his point in the actual document, he goes on to describe how effortless it is to make react content, which he is absolutely in the right on. This is an inarguable truth. It takes significantly less time and effort to react to content than it does to create 1000% this part is true. The content that's being reacted to. That's just blasting your ass with facts and logic 100%. Even when you're transforming the content, like, you know, for example, if I'm adding an extra 10 minutes worth of dialogue or even 20 minutes worth- But it doesn't matter. It's quite literally true, but it doesn't matter. Why is it not- why does it not matter? Because, like, 90% of the YouTubers absolutely love when you watch their content on your stream. That's it. So it's the consent meme, right? It's like, I consented, I consented. And then it's like, did you forget to ask Dark Viper? Did you forget to ask other, these other YouTubers that like just hate and react content, even though they themselves also do it? And it's so stupid. Worth of like extra commentary on top of it. That's still significantly less work than actually went into that video that creates it. And he's, he's totally right there. He then goes on to say how easy it is to pump out that content since it obviously takes less time and effort. They can make more of it, which means more react videos are being pumped into the YouTube atmosphere. And he's right there again. Look at someone like Sniper Wolf. She's able to do one a day and she's making, I think, 700 million views a month or something. She is the biggest React channel online, like anywhere on the internet. And what's shocking about Dark Viper's document is she's not listed here by name. He only goes with Twitch streamers, even though Dark Vi or Sniper Wolf does the same thing. So I found that to be weird because that would have been another great point here. But it, regardless, her absence isn't that big of a deal. It just serves to highlight that he is right. You can pump this out a lot quicker than fully original products. But the next part is where him and I differ greatly in our opinion here, and it is an opinion no matter how much Dark Viper wants to present it as a fact. He argues that this flood of React content takes from the finite pool of impressions, so it takes those eyeballs- Yeah, but you- but you see it's okay when they make an 8 hour React video of watching your stream for some reason? Yeah, I mean, I think that was like supposed to be meta when they did that, but it's just like so insane. That was just like, they did like the mental illness power hour there, and it, I don't even know what that was i mean i don't care when people actually watch my shit like that uh or watch my shit at all obviously i don't have a problem with that but uh even if you're just restreaming like it's okay go off you know but it, it is weird that they it, it is weird because like you know they other they do other reacts too it's not just that of course they do reactions that's that was just pathetic and puts it towards the React content as opposed to going towards the original content that they would have found elsewhere if the React content didn't exist. I'm skipping ahead just a bit because this part is also still part of the same umbrella claim. He says, if your content is good, then it will get exposure naturally, and so you don't need reactors. He's absolutely right, of course you don't need reactors, but he says, if your content is good, it will naturally get exposure. Okay, based on what? Where's your evidence to support that claim? There are millions upon millions of channels, literally millions, that have made high quality productions over the last decade that went nowhere, fell flat on their face, have less than hundreds of views. I know that because we've watched them on my stream before. I usually like to find more obscure content and I've seen some great videos, huge production, less than a hundred views, like five years old. The channel Yeah, they still ass. milk that too. It was like literally a five minute video. Dude, that is the most socialism I could do, baby. That's some redistribution right there. Redistribution of clout? My lord, dude. It's crazy that like those mother still they're still making videos about that one time i watched dead now Bug. and it had nothing to do with xqc watching my mom picks my next boyfriend for me or anything it, it just has to do with the sheer volume of content on youtube in general where not all great productions are gonna find eyeballs and it's just a lie him saying that it's gonna naturally get exposure you have no way of proving that. And if you do, I'd love to see it. How can you guarantee that by making high quality productions, you're naturally going- Viper used to re-upload religious debates without permission and then make a video crying when it got taken down by YouTube. It's so stupid, man. It's just, again, of course, of course he did. Of course he did. Look, look, guys, it, it doesn't matter. The reason why this is a non-issue, isn't this crazy? None of this applies to XQC. No, of course it applies to XQC. They just never mention XQC because they like XQC. I mean, I don't know about Viper or whatever the 
uh, is it likes him or not, but most of the people that shit on me could very, very, could direct the exact same criticism to XCG, like the MasterChef shit, but they don't. And that's because they like him or they're afraid of the power of the juicers. You know, I'm not, I'm not showing that. They fear the juicers. And when you call them out for it, they say they're making an example out of you, but like they haven't. It like, all you've done is, all you've done is basically, I don't know, maybe see a minor bump by being an idiot. You've seen like a minor bump in your, in your analytics, but that's it. It goes away. And when it goes away, you're going to be way, way, way more sad. If getting big on Twitch was as easy as reacting, then literally no one would have viewers because everyone would have viewers. That's literally part of Dark Viper's argument. It's insane to me. <sighs> you said this IP protection Andy was a leftist. I feel like these property takes are pretty far from the left. Also regarding MasterChef contestants, that's even that's hosts that's enjoyed that's watching it. Yeah, exactly. These people just don't like you. Well... Even with JCS, even with like JCS, right? Remember, JCS was like saying, it's great that you're reacting to these, but can you not react to ones that are behind a paywall? And everybody was like, oh, dude, what? He got him. He hates Hassan. Like this dude has made like multiple posts about how he like appreciates what I do, uh, watching the, the videos, but also like, you know, fighting uh, for his YouTube channel, not to get taken down and shit like that. And even then people are just, people are like, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. He still hates him. He still hates him, actually. Going to blow up on YouTube. How can you say that? Can you prove it? The pillar of his whole point is there's so much React content that now all of those eyeballs are on the reactors and not on the original content. They have taken away from this finite pool of impressions. But you have no way of proving if that React content wasn't there, those eyeballs would go to that original content. Because it's the internet. You do have proof for this, though. You have 90% of YouTubers that absolutely love when Twitch streamers watch their videos. You have... Even YouTubers themselves who hate when uh, Twitch streamers watch their videos only recognize that a Twitch streamer watched their video because they saw a massive bump in the view count out of nowhere, okay? They can turn around and say like, oh, it didn't actually lead to, it didn't actually lead to like significant long-term benefits. It's like, that's your fault, you know? That's just, you know, make better content then, silly. I mean, sorry. It's just, it's bullshit. Internet. It's YouTube. There's other places they could go to get entertainment. Let's say all of a sudden all of React content is gone. The people that watch the React content might just go watch Netflix, might just go on Twitch and watch some gaming streams or something. There's no guarantee that now that the React content's gone, those eyeballs turn towards the small YouTubers. You can't prove that. So the claim is completely baseless. I know you drew this diagram, but there's no source here. You're just pulling this out of 10, 10 labor, 10 hours of labor, creator eight, 500 hours of labor stolen what bro the moment you make diagram okay dude this is scary everyone loses except the reactor bro this is oh no this is like actually scary dude yo okay now i'm starting to feel bad for this dude okay i'm no <laughs> bro what is this this is some like jordan peterson maps of meaning shit dude this is like <laughs> this is schizo posting dog what the please i would just you know whatever whatever look there's dark viper if you're in here, if you're watching, or I'm sure someone will clip this for you. I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, man, look, there's some people in here that said that you're, you have good takes. They said you're leftist or something. I don't know. I only know you as the guy who lost this shit when one of your fans beat you in the speed running of Grand Theft Auto 5. That's when I found out that Grand Theft Auto 5 had speed runners. Okay. But I can tell you this, making this, making a diagram like this, not good. Okay. That's actually not good, man. That is, you're not, like, I would just, I would just maybe just get away from the internet for like a week, okay? Tap out. I promise, dude. It's not, you are not going down a, a healthy trajectory. Holy shit. Of your ass. I would love to know where you got this data from, if you have that available, because in this graph, if the React content that controls the 30% here pulls out, that 30% doesn't automatically get distributed to the rest of the graph. Those eyeballs could just be gone. Also, if you spend 500 hours on making one video, dude, god damn, like, I don't just you gotta streamline your process, brother. That's crazy. Like, this, this is like a Hollywood production, dude. What the? I can't believe people just play video games on Twitch. Don't trim, don't streamer know. Streamers know how much effort it takes to make a video game. Yeah, I know. They could go to a different platform. Take, for example, when Mixer acquired Ninja and Shroud, they came with absolutely massive audiences. And when they'd stream on Mixer, they'd have that full audience there. They were tuned in. But when they left, those eyeballs left. They didn't get redistributed to the rest of Mixer. They just went to a different platform because what they were there for was gone. So, so were they. 
it, would, it could be the same on YouTube. I'm not saying it is. There's no way for you to prove that if the React content wasn't there, all of those eyeballs that they are occupying of that finite pool of impressions would be redistributed to the smaller creators. You have no way of proving it. Nobody really does. However, off the top of my head, I can think of multiple examples in times where React content has genuinely helped. This cycle is interesting because the same discussion happened years ago when Ethan was at the center of it, and now everyone's cool with it on YouTube. Yeah, I missed that part. But I mean, reactions are the bread and butter. Like it's a part of the ecosystem and it's one that actually helps everybody. Uh, if you spent three months on a video, you think you just want people to be aware that it exists. I don't see how a streamer getting interested in someone's YouTube channel could be negative in any way, especially if chats like play that shit again. Yeah, but for the record, like that is precisely why, that is precisely why the overwhelming majority of YouTube content creators, including myself, I've made content exclusively for YouTube. I've made content for Facebook. I've made content on all these platforms before I came on to Twitch. And I love when people watch my shit. I love it. I love it. And most other YouTubers do as well because it is an ecosystem that literally creates new. It's like a, it's like a feedback loop that creates a larger audience for you. And that's why there's like very few content creators who hate that. Smaller creators like blow up their channel. My channel, I'm the perfect example of it. My channel literally got kickstarted because of Ray William Johnson reacting to my QWOP video in 2010. Without that happening, I probably wouldn't have this channel right now. I wouldn't be anywhere near the position I'm in right now if not for that reactor back then. So I'm the perfect example of that. Now, all cards on the table, I don't believe in exposure dollars. I don't believe by watching content, there's a guaranteed viewer boost and all of a sudden that person's gonna be a superstar and you know pay people in exposure, it's all legitimate. Like, hey, you know, I watched your video, so you can't be mad. No, I can truly understand when somebody doesn't like when someone reacts to their content. I get it. It's not like I'm delusional. I understand it. And I totally- This is precisely why I am very open. I'm like, I'm sorry if I watched your video and you didn't like it. I'm sorry. I will never do it again. And I will, I, I, I truly am apologetic that I watched it. And there have been people, like I said, very few out of all the videos that we watch, but there have been people that are like, oh, what the f you reacted to my shit? <sighs> and I don't. I don't watch them. Why is this guy defending reactors? <laughs> really sympathize when it's someone that doesn't add anything to it, and I'm guilty of it too. Like I mentioned, sometimes I just get lost in a great video, and I end up just sharing that video to the stream, not on purpose. I planned on adding more to it, adding commentary, adding jokes to it, but sometimes I just get engrossed in it, and I failed. To if Twitch made an extension that translated Twitch live versus the YouTube views, the scores would be over. That's so stupid. What are you talking about? Like, that's never going to happen. What? There's no cross-pollination of that sort. That would mean that, like, both platforms had to open up their API. What are you guys... Are you 12? Well, what kind of take is that? Yeah, just, oh, if we just made an extension, dude, between two direct competitors. And then what? Like, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to are you gonna run the ad? Thanks like, money. how are they going to do rev share? To deliver on my part of transforming it. I completely understand that perspective and agree with it. I get it. But I can, however, prove that multiple times channels I've reacted to have been very positive about it and their channel has grown exponentially as a result of it. I never like talking about these things because I never really like it to seem like I'm being, you know, so full of myself. Like I'm a benevolent reactor and I save channels and blow them up because I don't believe in that. I really, truly don't. But I would like to give you a couple of examples of times where channels we've reacted to, very small channels, have been able to turn it into a full-time career and it has really helped them grow. So a couple popped into my head immediately. The first one obviously being the sausage god, Ordinary Sausage. This man could turn anything into a sausage. He could take King Tut's mummified remains and make a banger sausage out of it. In 2020, during a YouTube night, one person in stream who was a fan of sausage recommended his content. And at the time, as you can see in this video, he had 3,000 subscribers. And the content was so good, so high quality, it was super fun. And I felt I added quite a bit to it with comedy throughout it to transform it. So I turned it into a video. And through that video, his channel really started to grow because people really liked his content. They really liked him. So they went to his channel. His channel got a lot of steam. And fast forward to 2022. He is now at 655,000 subscribers. It's become like his full-time passion. And we've become- Second Thought is a good example of this as well. I mean, he was already like relatively sizable, but he's exploded in popularity. And the person who runs that channel is a fan. Like, he's great. Um, 
you know i'm not saying like i blew him up he was already like a big channel but certainly like these are these are channels that get a lot of of love and and maybe even can switch directions like there's so many I'm good friends we've collaborated quite a few times over the years and it's just always been a great time working together and it all stemmed from just a reaction to his content and people that may not have otherwise found it found him and then he was able to make a career out of it there's a chance that maybe the algorithm would have picked up sausage making for some reason sure you could make that argument maybe the channel would have been successful without the reaction but it's inarguable that it did help because as after posting this video his channel was soaring absolutely exploding he got like a hundred thousand subs in a month or something from three thousand on the ground so there was a real benefit there and of course this isn't the norm but there is real positive impacts that do happen as a result of re the react content debate is kind of like using music and tiktoks artists love it because it brings exposure to their song they aren't mad that people are stealing it to make money exactly but now imagine if there was like legitimately one musician with like dog shit music who was like i don't want mother using my music on TikTok. And that's why no one should use music on TikTok. That's the, that's a great analogy, actually. That's just, that, that is exactly what it is. Where you're like, I don't like people listening to my music on TikTok, so I don't think anyone should listen to music on TikTok. Like, okay, dude, just don't, you know, we know now. We will never watch your dog shit videos, okay? I promise. React content, and this is just a quick example. Another one that always pops into my head is slapping. Slap Fight Championship in particular, there were a small organization doing fun slapping content and really trying to take it to the next level. And I found them randomly during a YouTube night and I, I loved no it, thought it was great. It's the creator of Slap Fight Championship, JT. But isn't that the entire point of the Psychos Manifesto that you're asking for permission afterwards instead of before? Yeah, because it would be virtually impossible in real time when a chatter's like, yo, you need to watch this video. It's really good. It's blowing up, whatever the and then I actually click on it and I watch it uh, for me to be like, oh, I wonder if this is going to be okay. Especially when 99% of the people literally think that this is dope. Okay. That's why it's like ridiculous to expect that when 99% of the people saying yes, and, and then like the one person says no, even if it literally benefits them. Okay. And they just say no. Even if it benefits them, th still justifying copyright violation? Of course I am, President Zelensky. <laughs> President Zelensky. Of course. Of course. Copyright's dog shit. It's bullshit. I have a moral uh, argument there, too. I think it's bullshit. All art is derivative. You're violating copyright right now. Everyone violates copyright. We just don't recognize that we're violating uh, copyright. And some violations of copyright are seen as acceptable, which is precisely why I assume that when I run the top of the hour ad break 30 minutes in at the middle of the hour, that it's not a copyright violation, but it's a violation of chatter's rights. That's right. I waited on purpose because you motherfuckers at 5 p.m. were like, uh-huh, run the ad, run the ad, run the ad. Well, get what? guess what, dude? I'm running it now in the middle of the hour. And if you want an AFRI broadcasting experience, all you need to do is subscribe. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is disgusting stream. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there it is, dude. The ad break is upon us, okay? If you don't want to see those ads, if you don't want to see those dirty, disgusting ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5. You can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime, okay? You can get gifted a sub if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, if you're not a good boy, you're not going to get a sub, so you got to make your own luck. But Twitch Prime is luckily free. Here's the one I'm going to break now reached out to me, was appreciative about it, and we became great friends and partners, working together to grow Slap Fight Championship into something fantastic. And fast forward to today, it's become the premier slapping league. It's uh, recognized as like a legitimate sport. Do you think if they added something like an option for the creator to check if they want their video to be reacted to, 99% would just say yes, so we wouldn't take the argument away from the other 1%, like some people don't let their videos be embedded? I mean, they could do that. They could do that, okay? That is something that they could do. Except, like, Almost two years of this it's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't even think that that person would check that. I think that that person would want people to react to it. Like an ad ad opt-out option? Yeah. This is the content ecosystem. YouTubers upload content. You react to content. Your content gets reposted onto YouTube. Every person in that process is benefiting from the exposure. Why even upload the videos if you don't want people to watch? I mean, because they're, you're stealing people's labor. You're basically giving out unpaid internships for exposure. That's exactly what I'm doing. Except, like, everybody loves it. And everybody, because the entire purpose of an unpaid internship is to potentially get a job, okay? And that's not a guarantee. But the entire purpose of a video being put out is literally for people to see it.
and to see the other videos. So that's the difference there. You're not doing labor for me. Your video is going to be sitting there regardless. The only difference is I wouldn't be watching it with 30,000 people. So maybe some of those 30,000 people would organically go and watch it themselves if they saw it. But ultimately, it's guaranteed that 30,000 people are going to see that and watch it. You know what I mean? You're literally fuck Jerry in 2012. You cannot be serious with this, right? 50 month subscriber. They don't have a choice. You're, you're, there's no shot. This place is my little home there's no shot that this person is actually doing this. True drugs, hot tub streams, gambling. He's not doing anything illegal. You should probably just leave him alone. Wait, what? That's a logical fallacy. Yes, ban slots and alcohol too. Oh, this guy loves, hates hot tub streams, loves Gamba streams. 15 month subscriber is very upset that uh, people watch uh, and, and react to other people's videos. Why are there so many black people chatters in here? It's kind of sad. This is an issue that will have people on both sides hating you. I feel like people here would honestly cancel you for not boosting other leftist channels like More Perfect Union and Grove. Gravel Institute enough. Yeah, but I love them and they love me, by the way. More Perfect Union and Gravel Institute both love my shit and they love that I watch their uh, videos. These guys act like you're forcing these creators to make these videos and telling them you'll pay them with exposure. Literally, the video is made, it's posted. There's zero downside to having someone react to it. There's absolutely nothing bad that can happen unless you have some psychopathic chatter go after the creator, which is a problem in and of itself. Yeah. Like, they don't have a choice, dude. That's crazy. No, they made the choice. The choice is like, I want this video to be seen by as many people as possible. Because if they don't, if they don't want the video to be seen by as many people as Everyone possible, the some things that they can do, unlisted link, and just for your friends, privating the video, okay? These are the choices you can make. But as far as like your content being seen by other people, I guess you could DMCA them. But that would be really stupid to do. That would be insanely stupid to do. And if it's monetized, it still doesn't matter. It, it does not matter. Reactions don't take away from the views of the OG vid. People who only watch the reaction wouldn't have watched the OG vid in the first place. Most of us are watching MasterChef on our own because it's kind of boring with other reactions. But tons of people like me go back and watch the full JCS vids even after watching reactions to it. The monetization element, the monetization element doesn't make sense because there are people who literally pay for the exposure. You understand that, right? Like people want exposure on their YouTube videos so much. People want exposure on their YouTube videos so much that they buy ads so that people will like forcibly watch them. You're making it seem as though it's like a bad thing that someone else is making like, like I'm gonna have 30,000 people in here no matter what I'm watching, okay? Like watching that video is not the reason why people are in here. Like, do you think, are you stupid? Like you're 50 month subscriber. Okay. Maybe you are a little stupid, which is fine. We're all a little stupid. Are you watching me because you saw me watch a YouTube video and you were like, I don't know how to find the YouTube video on my own. Like that's what happened. And you were like, <laughs> that's why I watch. I'm a little stupid. Don't know where the YouTube videos are on their own, you know? And then like, that's why you came in here. That's why there's 30,000 people in here watching. <laughs> it's people's liveliness. It's not just for art for people to see. It's people's liveliness. They get returns on those views though. That's why they buy ads. Bro, there is the chemist TV. I wonder if this mother is a, wait, okay, let's do a little bit of digging here. Is this person a content creator themselves? Like what's going on? Chemist TV streams PUBG Battlegrounds. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm reacting to your content. Last time you streamed was three years ago. Oh no. Okay. Well, if you made more, uh, if you made more content, I would, I could potentially react to it, and we can, we could see if that actually benefited you personally or not. They get returns on those views, though. That's why they buy ads. No, dumbass. They buy those ads because those ads end up linking traffic back to their channel, dude. Like, what are you talking about? It's the exact same thing as as me watching someone for free. Like, you would not be watching. 30,000 people in here would not be watching some random person. Reacts to unlock the Yo, Maz, what the fuck? Did I get time out, y'all fascists? Brother, 50 months sub, what did they think they were doing the whole time? They were watching you, what? <sighs> Chatter just ruined his own argument. We just proved that reactors also boost views. It isn't a return on investment. Straight up free advertising in the best way possible. Exactly, dude. Exactly, nice. okay? No one has ever been like, man, I was going to watch Black White on my own. Yes, their video is silly. What? Dude, don't speak like this, okay? Don't, I mean, I'm gonna untime you out, but just like, we're not friends, we're not cordial, I don't know you, you're a 15 month subscriber, I don't know who the f*** you are, I would have never known who the f*** you were until you just like spoke out like a dickhead in my chat, okay? Just don't do that, silly. Who the f*** are you, silly? Who's the silly bitch? Make an understandable and reasonable f argument, reacting is so low effort, you should strive to make more original content. Okay, dumbass. Well, I'm, I am I do. And also, it doesn't matter. You are right. It is low effort. Why don't you do it then? 
Here, let me let me get you started, silly. Let me get you started by banning you. So now you have more time. Instead of typing in my chat, you can go you can go around and, and you know make your own content. And then I, I will probably not watch it because it's gonna be dog shit. But maybe one day. Okay. Make ten hours of high quality original content a day. <laughs> it is one thousand percent, one thousand, one million percent beneficial. Ludwig made it apparent by farming Miskiv with a $50 dono. Ludwig literally made a Miskiv video to prove that like someone reacting to his video would farm views on the video. Like months, there have been a million different iterations of this. It is so stupid that people are still doing that. You're totally correct about people not understanding how you react. I remember how you were watching Let Me Know, one of my favorite content creators, and you left to cook for 20 minutes. I was like, well, that's f***ed up. Then you came back and kept pausing, and I was like, please just watch the video, bro. Yeah, well. At Fasana by Ayo. Also good drift today, dude. Thank you, yo, it's CN. Like, React content is low effort in comparison to actually making the video itself. That's not a joke. That That is true. Of course. I make videos. I make original videos. And I do React content. And I can tell you that one is significantly harder than the other. Okay? Let's continue. I don't know how much I can talk about, but I'm going to maybe, you know, spoil the surprise a little bit, maybe. A full-blown documentary coming out about Slap Fight Championship and all the incredible things going on over there, all stemming from just reacting Rainbow to the content, time, which runs counter to what Dark Viper is saying in his document, where the reactors don't watch tiny content creators who can't catch a break. They find videos that are already doing well in the algorithm and are already successful, thus do not need their exposure. Reactors are not seeking out content to give it any sort of boost, seeking out content to bring themselves to the for the record, like, I just want to go back to this really quickly, and I want to tell you something. He does not care about the flow of the stream. He doesn't care about the 26,171 other people that are in the stream at this moment. He only is being incredibly selfish in an effort to get my attention and try to derail the stream. So when I ban people like this, remember, I'm not doing it because they're annoying me or anything like that. I'm rolling these because they're being incredibly annoying to people like you, okay? Maximum amount of profit for the least effort. So I just think this immediately runs against that since the majority of content I watch and react to is small content like Ordinary Sausage, like Slap Fight Championship. Of course, sprinkled throughout there are some bigger content creators as well as organizations that I just appreciate the- Make videos for more perfect unit every time you watch us. Or bring us up is a good day for me because it boosts our brand recognition overall boost the message to an audience we know are engaged with it it's incredibly valuable yeah and i talk to people that are a part of more perfect union too so like i know i know they want that i know they like the that. work of and think that they're fun but the majority <laughs> of it has always been the smaller creators and nah, of course not always is that like reacting going to help them in fact i would argue that it's pretty rare for it too but it is still against his point. I'm not reacting to things that are just going to bring the maximum amount of profit. That's not what I care about. I've never been a money-driven person. And to be put in this document where I'm compared to a criminal as well as just a money-hungry exploiter, he calls me an exploiter class, is outright disgusting. I'm watching these things and reacting to it because I think it's fun content that I can add to and have fun with and transform so that way both the people who make the content would find it enjoyable, laugh with it, and have a good time, as well as the community that watched it with me. That is the drive for when I'm reacting to shit. He says that people only react to content that's doing well in the algorithm and that they were going to be successful on their own. Can you prove that to me, Dark Viper? Can you tell me that Ordinary Sausage before my reaction was going to be a 655,000 subscriber channel closing in on a million? Dude's going to absolutely crush it. Can you tell me that was 100% going to happen without me reacting to it? No. You can't. He wasn't in the algorithm at the time. There was just a fan who found him through, I think it was the deep into YouTube subreddit, if I remember. Charlie leaves this open for larger channels, though. You know what I mean? Like, then, oh, well, what about larger channels that are already successful? Like, because reaction is not just about, like, boosting smaller channels, for the record. Okay? It's not just about blowing up smaller channels. Like, reacting to content also revolves around, like, you know, adding additional, uh, like, showing even already popular works of art to a larger audience that otherwise would not have seen it, okay? That's what it is. That's where it comes from. Correctly, and just thought it was fun content and shared it with me. It wasn't popping off in the algorithm, neither was slapping. In fact, Slap Fight Championship has a huge problem with demonetization and it never even makes it to the algorithm in the first place. I found it because I was already deep into the slapping rabbit hole and found it through that, not because it was going well in the algorithm. It's just- um, DM Hernandez, you're absolutely correct. Why is low effort a good argument? Isn't it about viewers enjoying the content? 
Hell, it's a community thing for me. I had so much fun hating on Tali with 40k other people. That's exactly why I do it. People think that I do it because it's low effort and it's like, oh, it's easy clicks or it's easy buckets or whatever. No, if I had, first of all, for me, I think personally playing video games is way easier for me on stream. And I would do that all day, every day. But the unfortunate reality is that this community that I've cultivated is not appreciative of that. Like, it's just not the case. People don't. And I try to make it as fun as possible. And there are certain games that actually pop and certain games that people enjoy uh, uh, watching me play. And then there are others that they don't. And I still burn uh, the stream into the ground, um, into the ground when I like a game and I get like super addicted to it and I just finish it, right? But ultimately, Hi. the reality is like I'm doing it because it's fun for the community. Like I am an entertainer. I want to make it so that it is entertaining. And I actually love, it's because you suck at video games and are brilliant social commentary. That's bullshit. The top gamers on this platform are not brilliant at gaming. They're just, they have an audience that likes games. Unfortunately, an audience that appreciates political commentary do not necessarily appreciate playing video games in the same capacity. Okay? I would not watch a single second of the half of the videos you react to, but I've had to watch some channels now because I'm interested after seeing your reacts. Yeah, speaking of which, we will be playing Sifu soon. Anyway, let's continue. Dark Viper has a point that he can't possibly prove. There is no way he could accurately, with real evidence, show me that these channels were going to do extremely well without React content, or any channel for that matter is guaranteed exposure if they're making good content like he insinuates in his document. There's no way of proving that. However, I can show you examples, and this is only two of them, where React content wasn't dog shit and didn't hurt the channel that was being reacted to. Now, as I mentioned, I do fail sometimes where I just get too lost in the content where I didn't add anything to it and I'm always embarrassed when that happens. I have a great example. There was a, a channel that I really enjoyed and I watched their video on a dilapidated building that was for sale. It was a house and it was one of the most confusing house tours of all time. It was this fucking labyrinth, the house of nightmares, and they had a great video going through all of it and I watched it on stream. I'd already seen it before I watched it on stream as well because I just wanted to show oh, people and no. talk about it and like get really goofy with it and figure out what was going on with this house. But I ended up just getting too lost in the video because they presented it so well and it was just such a great video. And the creator saw my reaction to it and was really disappointed. They didn't appreciate it. And I totally understood where they're coming from because I didn't really add anything to it. I didn't really react to it. So to them, it felt like I was just re-uploading their content on Bro, my- Bro, that dude literally, that dude only, or uh, they, I uh, fuck, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to fuck their, uh, their, their, uh, their pronouns up. But that person straight up, like, that person straight up, I think just, that's their content, I think. Oh my God. Is it just their content? Their content is just like yelling at people that like stumbled across their one video on accident. Oh my God. Charlie still isn't saying their channel name. I'm not, I'm not doing that either. Stream. And I get that perspective. I really do. But that's never the goal. It's never supposed to be piggybacking off of someone else's hard work in order to do nothing for it and make money off it. I've never had that mentality and I never will. And I really hate that this whole document paints me in that light. It's just so disingenuous. And Dark Viper, I know you watched my content for a long time. I, like I said, I know your channel. I used to see you talk about my shit. The fuck? I, I remember- Tom you Crabtree says, Hassan the Hun, love the reaction slash content creator argument you're making right now. Please don't react to this tweet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Too late, dude did how about that because i'm money hungry okay i'm freaking money hungry dude that's right their original content is reacting to other movie essays such hypocrites yeah uh that's this is this is wild this, this is like i did not know that i did not actually know that that uh charlie had the same thing uh charlie had the same problem uh that i did you were crit critiquing my audio at one point because I used to have that low hum on my audio settings and I remember you pointed that out in a video a long time ago. You used to watch my shit. Low hum talk about my content it paints me in that light. It's just so disingenuous and Dark Viper, I know you watched my content for a long time. I like I said, I know your channel. I used to see you talk about my shit. I, I remember you were crit critiquing my audio at one point because I used to have that low hum on my audio settings, and I remember you pointed it out in a video a long time ago, you used to watch my shit, and I have always reacted to content, even since 2016. So you knew I was doing all of that, and you still enjoyed the content. Now all of a sudden you're coming in here and putting me on the same yeah, yeah. level as a double man. O, it's o, absolutely o, double, outrageous. O, double, double,
on. There's still so many things I could point out in this document that are just the exploiter class, like XQC, Hassan, Pokemon, Moist Critical, etc. We'll use this. Uh, will use this unpaid labor to avoid this expense and therefore draw the maximum viewers and revenue from actual creators. You can also see what the actual content creators hate reactors enough that there's a huge movement in 2016 to call them out. Unfortunately, the rise of live streaming has brought forth a brand new exploiter ready to fill their bellies with free labor. Creating actual content takes time, energy, and creativity. This is true. If you do it all yourself, you will quickly get tired, burn out, or run out of ideas. The exploiter class will use this unpaid labor to avoid this expense and therefore draw the maximum viewers and revenue for actual creators. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. Yo, there's homies in here that were like, he's actually really smart. His ideas are really good. <laughs> oh, this dude literally wrote a manifesto that's like an LF LSF comment with the, with the irony of itself being that uh, even the LSFers hate him. Wait, what? Each of these... Each of these creators earns on average 20 million dollars a year on the backs of unpaid writers and content creators who do not even get asked whether they want to be unpaid interns in these enterprises of exploitation. Wait, wait, 20 million dollars, dude? Yo! Boys, oh my lord, dude. Yo, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're, that's true. Yo, house one, house two is coming, boys. He means 20 million in Australia. It's like 300,000 dollar a day in USD. Yeah, you're not an intern Lamont, you're uploading free content. Yeah, it's like, it, it's a very strange argument because it's like, it's a very strange argument because it's like, that person didn't make the content for me. Like, I wasn't like, yo, make this content for me, unpaid intern, so I can watch it on my stream. How do you feel about people who re-upload your own content for their profit? Dude, come on, you can't be joke. you're joking, right? Like, th th this is like a meme in this community. Not only do we celebrate it, like, I, I, there is a whole industrial complex. The Hassan, the Hassan Abbey Clips industrial complex is live and alive. Of course, I don't mind it. Does not have our friends get together. ...wrong, such as this claim at the bottom. They will, of course, then upload this stolen content to their YouTube channels, as well as further maximize profits that would otherwise, again, go to actual content creators. Hey, can I get a source on that? Can I get a, uh, prove that, buddy, please? Dude, that's the funniest part, is, like, this dude literally thinks that, I mean, he's, he's so horny, uh, about, like, hating, he, he is such a massive, raging, hard-on hate boner. How do you feel about people telling others that you're their cousin, asking for a friend? <laughs> it's okay, tomorrow you can do that if you want. Um, uh, or your friend can do that if he, if he wants. It's, uh... He is so bricked up. He is so hard. Hard as diamonds. Okay. Straight up. He, his, his hay boner is so massive that it definitely just cut off circulation to his brain. Like no blood is pumping into this man's brain that only then could he have come up with such an idiotic argument that like 30,000 people, when I watch a video guaranteed would have watched that video on their own. Okay. Guaranteed. There's people in Charlie's comments that are still somehow complaining and debating about you. Yeah, I, I mean, look, Charlie does, uh, you know, he, he does put his ear to the ground in a lot of this sort of stuff. And he does um, sometimes uh, take like a more centrist position. But I think this is one instance where he won't do that. And I do hope that, um, I don't know, I, I just, I hope that he doesn't do that. Uh, with this and like doesn't fucking throw me under the bus you know what i'm saying the brain rot has set in permanently i wish anshan was gay because my man is a snack each of these creators earns on average 20 million dollars a year on the back of unpaid writers and content creators hey can i get a source on that one as well where the f is my 20 mil a year i'm gonna pee i'll be what back what an outrageous number to pull right from your dick hole there 20 million a year is that really what you think i make on youtube dark viper holy shit your cpm must be crazy to think that i would make 20 mil in a year bro half of my content has a giant dildo in it that's three feet long you really think i'm somehow making 20 million a year i can't speak for hassan pokimane or xqc or anyone there but i can tell you that this just making this claim on average 20 million years is so blatantly wrong it's laughable and again can i please get a source on the uh maximized profits that would otherwise again go to actual content creators can you prove that fuck man that'd be glorious that average of 20 mil a year somehow going to the smaller content creators that would be unassociated with the react content all of a sudden somehow that 20 mil is making it to them i'd love to see the osmosis process there somehow so you're telling me if that React content is gone, all that 20 mil is now in a limbo just waiting for these small content creators all of a sudden, even if there's no crossover with the React content? That's that's incredible. Would love to just see the data here that you undoubtedly have to back up these claims. And especially on the 20 mil a year, because if that's true, man, I'm getting fucking ripped off. 
I'm not even close. I'm gonna need to talk to somebody at YouTube because you've probably got the numbers right and YouTube's wrong, man. Another thing I'd like to point out is every time this whole React content debate comes up, the people that take the most offense to it and make the biggest stink about it are the people that aren't having a problem with people reacting to their content. I don't think there's this huge epidemic of people- Yeah, <laughs> that's the best part. Exactly. That's the best part. It's just like, hey, would you mind if I watched your video on stream? No, actually, that'd be pretty poggers. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, okay. So what? You're just like upset for other people then that you imagined in your mind? Okay, got it. ...in a black tank top and trying to steal Dark Viper AU's content by reacting to it minimally on stream or something. He's not really battling a bunch of reactors, at least not that I know of. Maybe I'm wrong. But the people that do have their content reacted to, like the smaller channels and even some of the bigger channels, usually have a really positive response to it. They'll reach out and say thank you or like, hey, glad you enjoyed the video. Would love to talk about it maybe a, bit, uh, a little bit more. A lot of the friends I've made online have actually just come from me appreciating their content. This is 100% also true. There are so many essays that I had no idea were like Hasanabi heads after watching their videos. After watching their videos, I saw that they were, uh, you know. Wait, did he actually Man, you took money from a small company named Fox. Wait, did he did he throw me under the bus? Are you serious? Shut the fuck up. He did not do that. Samson, Nick is not green, among others. He name dropped you. What did he say? What did he say? I was peeing. God damn it. It's one of those pee break ones. And reacting to it and talking about their content afterwards as a result of it. Like it's it's always a weird dichotomy. Yeah, where the darkest the TikToks dude was super appreciative. He was literally in here while we were watching. Like it's just crazy. Like so many people say this and it's like the, the actual content creators themselves, like they love it. They appreciate it. Even when they're all, even when they're blowing the fuck up, like the dark side of TikTok iceberg, uh, uh, guy, um, like he, his videos already had accrued like millions and millions of views, but he appreciated it. Like he still was like very excited. He said, you probably don't make 20 million a year. No. Yeah, I, I do not. He's absolutely correct on that. The people that are the maddest are the ones that aren't even directly involved in the problem that they're talking about. Of course, that doesn't go for every channel and that's totally fine, but in my experience and the experience of a lot of friends that I know that have also reacted to content, the majority of it's always been a really positive relationship between the creator that was reacted to and the person that was reacting to it. Because for me, what happens is it shows I like this person's content, I like what they're doing, and then now they know, hey, we have something in common, maybe we could be friends, maybe we could talk more, and it usually just leads to collaborations and getting to know each other all through just being appreciative of their content and being so happy about it to share it with others. Not everyone is in YouTube or online content creation for the maximum amount of money. Maybe it's different with Dark Viper and that's why he's always so fixated on the money aspect of things, but for some content creators, even the small ones, they just like to see people enjoying their content from time to time. And to be exposed to a bigger audience like a fucking XQC watching your fan animation, they get excited. Even if it's like, hey, that's 70,000 people watching your content on XQC stream instead of yours. Well, those 70,000 people may never have found that small channel in the first place. And now maybe some of them do go over there. And he mentions that as like trickle down reactonomics or some shit like that. But for a lot of people, that isn't a net positive thing up, where Pope? there could have been no one that ever found it in the first place. I don't think it's a really strong argument or anything, but it is still something worth noting. It's a real thing that does happen as opposed to... Dark Viper's claims of average of 20 million a year with these money hungry sexual ab like dude, yeah dude all the yo shouts out to all the YouTubers I watch you know you would also be making 20 million dollars a year you'd probably be making like 40 to 60 million like cuz I'm making 20 excuse me's making 20 Pokemon is making 20 and then Moist is making 20 right so we already got it right we got four people so that's $80 million that you would be making on your individual video if it weren't for us all individually making 20 by watching your video. So that's pretty cool. Uh, sorry about that, guys. My bad. You know, <laughs> Dark Vipers got your back, okay? <laughs> At least with some of these things that, yeah, maybe I don't agree with all of them and they're pretty weak points like the you know, exposure dollar thing helping every channel. I don't always agree with that, but you can prove on a case-by-case -case basis it does. Whereas in Viper's case, he doesn't present any real evidence for these claims. At least not that I saw in this document. Maybe he has some in the back. They could be watching something originally if they weren't reactors argument is just as bad as the paid and exposure argument. I hope you recognize that there's a difference between like paid and exposure with respect to like something. The theft of labor argument makes no sense because it's arbitrary and doesn't extend to anyone. Like uh, the, the paid and exposure argument it's really dumb 
when it's uh, like graphics design, okay? When it's something that you have directed someone to create, okay? That is the difference there. When the entire purpose of your when the entire purpose of your content, once you've put it out there, is to get it in front of as many people as possible, then yes, exposure is the point. Exposure is the purpose. Do you, do you get it? Also, exposure can be worth something. Lamau, it's not always worthless, even with art. No, but like, no, he's saying it's just as bad. They could be watching something original if there weren't reactors. Argument is just as bad as the paid and exposure argument. Oh, you mean like the paid and exposure argument that he's making? Yes, I mean that in their extremes, they're both dumb as fuck. I think there's value in people with an audience watching shit, but it's also not like you're commissioning them to make a video you watch. Exactly. There are always going to be, out of the 26,000 people that are watching, right? There's going to be, of course, the by and large majority of those people, either A, already know the content creator, okay, and are watching their videos regardless. And some of those people are not going to rewatch the video on their own, okay? So you've lost some videos, you've lost some views there. But the other side of it greatly outweighs. The, the marginal amount of people that already were aware of the content creator and had already watched the video with the content creator of that, that specific video of the content creator are marginal in comparison to the large majority of people that had not seen this content creator, some of which will actually become fans of the content creator. That's it. And that's the reason why 99% of creators, 99% uh, of creators actually like it. If a Hassan Clips channel posts a segment, 30 key people watch it on YouTube and one person becomes a community member watch your stream every day, isn't that a net positive? Same point, vice versa. Yeah, that's precisely why I don't mind it. I don't mind when the Hassan Abi Clips industrial complex makes money. The, the alternative is, yes, uh, that destroys the algo for my own personal content on my own personal YouTube, right? Because on my personal YouTube page, obviously, like, that is another uh, revenue driver, if we are to think about it like it's a business, I have a YouTube channel, right? And there's a lot of Clip It and Ship It Andes in the Hassan Abi Clips Industrial Complex that will take like, for example, this Jubilee segment and immediately post it on their page. And it will garner sometimes even more views than the original content on my page. It's a little frustrating when they do that, okay? It's a little frustrating when they do that. I hope you're not advocating for spec work, art, and design. No, dumbass. I literally said the exact opposite of that. You don't understand. The difference is commission. The difference is like me urging you to make something and then not paying you is entirely different than like me watching a video that you already put out there. Anyway, you got to agree that react content is so low effort. It's not like, I don't know what you mean by that because playing video games is way lower effort than react content. Okay. That's the unfortunate reality that most people are refusing to come across is like Twitch streaming is lower effort than YouTube. Of course, playing video games on the other hand is way, way lower effort than I would much rather play video games for eight hours than like deliver takes to you while watching a YouTube video. I've done both. I don't know why you think like I wouldn't be more knowledgeable on this issue than you and other streamers that do both regularly also agree with me. Asmongold is a great example of this. Asmongold is the number one reactor and the gamer. He says the exact same shit. Games are fun as fuck to play. People think I don't play video games because I hate them or something. No, I don't play video games because it's not entertaining to my audience. Okay? Burner, but nothing he proves shows that the reaction, like the reactors and their content, are taking eyeballs away from other content creators online that have nothing to do with that space. Like, there's it's, it's nothing that shows me that he is correct that if these reactors were gone, small channels would be flourishing right now. Him saying with a straight face that if you make good content, you will naturally get exposure is just silly. That's so naive. It's just not the reality of it. You can make the best content in the world and it could go nowhere if the algorithm doesn't pick it up or if you just don't get lucky or in at the bad time. Like there's so many factors. You are not guaranteed exposure just for making good content. And that's what Dark Viper seems to want you to believe in his document. Again, there was nothing in there that showed me that those eyeballs that are occupying what React the content fuck? would then switch to non-React content if it was gone. Yes, there is a finite amount of impressions that can go around. Nothing is infinite. And yes, some of those are on the React content, but if it wasn't there, that's not saying that they are all of a sudden going to the other content elsewhere. There is nothing that he has presented in this document that shows that. But on the other side of this coin, you can show that there are the cases where React content helped channels blow up maintain an audience you know even with his trickle down reactonomics that he seems to hate so much you can at least prove that that exists because some of the channels that xqc has reacted to those channels have maintained like an audience from xqc it's not of course the full seventy thousand, maybe only a fraction of that but it's still more than they had 
pre that reaction. So it's given them some kind of extra steam, even if it's not great, that they might not have had otherwise. Maybe they would have. Again, you can't prove that Dark Viper and no one can, but it is inarguable that they did get a little extra audience that has now stuck around. They now have a juicer fan base that is stuck around because they enjoyed what they saw when they watched it with XQC. Say Hassan, so coward. It's the same for me too. Really Say my name, mother what do you, what do you, why just does your actually it's probably better to just use the juicer as an example because everybody loves the juicer you know what i'm saying like so that's a little different you know it's probably a better person to w uh, make some of those channels i am like voldemort have more of an audience now you can prove it so yeah this document was really upsetting to read especially as someone that does know dark vipers content and again he bases every single one of his claims off no real evidence, just his understanding of the market and capitalism, but it doesn't apply to YouTube. <coughs> if his graph is right, let's just assume he got everything right. React content has 30% of the eyes while everything else is getting scraps. If that 30% is gone, there is no guarantee that that 30% that is now gone from the React channels goes to the other creators because they could just go somewhere else or turn off the computer and go do something else. It's not exactly like the market when it comes to just watching fucking videos. They might be there for Pokimane and Reacts. And when Pokimane stops reacting, they don't go watch anything else. They just go do something else off of YouTube. It just doesn't apply. But maybe Dark Viper has this incredible data that just throws everything for a loop that just wasn't in this document. And I would love to see it. But regardless of whatever data he has... This is a truly disgusting thing to do at the end of it, where he claims that reactors are on the same level as a criminal who would spike someone's drink and whatever other disgusting shit he said, and all reactors are bad people. Fucking silly. That's about it. See ya. Did you react to Noah's vid? No. I did not, because I don't want to watch debate lords, and I don't want to watch videos about debate lords, even if Noah and I uh, agree, most likely, on the debate lord stuff. Ugh. Anyway, did you collab with Charlie? I have collab. I can't tell you if you guys are joking or something. Is this something you worry about on a daily basis? How do people live in LA? Aren't you worried about running into James Corden? Dude, we don't talk about that. I mean, here's a great example. Serious question. You think that YouTuber would bitch about you getting up cooking during a Shabibo Crowder video? I don't know. And it's fucked up. Okay, here is here. I should have never, I should have never had that video uh, on during the cooking segment. Like, okay, what did you say? This is your legacy? Yeah, I mean, it is. It, it will always be my fucking legacy. But the reality is, I would never, I wouldn't leave a Crowder video on. Here's the thing I would not leave a Crowder video on to go cook because, like, the content on the Crowder video itself, it, like, I'm, I don't want those ideas to be promoted or presented without, like, you know, pushback. Shit, so they can squash the Kaya Hassan beef? Who the fuck is Kaya? Happy to sub to and most 30k God. views on a YouTube video would make, like, $60. Using advertising dollars, you could have had to pay a ton more money to get your video in front of 30k pairs of eyes, much less the chance to build actual fans because someone you like the streamer showing the content that they like. Yeah. 15 months, baby. I used to watch Dark Wiper, but he came out as someone who thinks he's above everyone else, like moral grandstanding, and his followers think he can't do no wrong. And after he does, they say, Look, he apologized. The best apology of any YouTuber ever. I've never seen his content. I will never watch his content. Hope he gets help, though. I mean, it does seem like I, I think he's just looking for attention. This is good. You don't sleep. You're pale. You only eat junk food. Don't like the sunlight. I know what you are. Say it out loud. Say it. A react, Andy. Sifu, I know I'm not a gamer frog, but your anger is enjoyable. Yeah. Look at your boy. What the fuck's he doing now? <laughs> Dude, what? Why is he wearing the helmet with the night vision goggles when it's light out? Wait, doesn't that literally destroy his eyes? What is happening? It's not on, right? Trying to find some bitches, I bet. <laughs> True. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>